Hi guys, Light here and today I'll be showing you my opinion of the 12 best free keyboards for iOS this 2016. So these things are arranged in alphabetical order and of course free. So first keyboard on the list is clips. So with clips you can easily copy and paste your clips. So take for instance that you are reading a book, searching for images, or just simply browsing the web. And on your way on browsing or whatever you are doing, you found an idea that you like. So you go and select your idea, and once you selected it, you copy that idea. With Clips, you can easily save those ideas using the Notification Center widget. And there you go. And now you can go to the application that you want to use the idea or wherever where you want to use that idea and quickly use the Clips keyboard to paste your ideas. Also, you that you could manage all of your clips using the Clips application. And that is Clips. Next keyboard that we have is Flexi. So with Flexi, you could easily have this keyboard right here. You could get features such as slide left to delete the whole entire word. Or you could slide right to make a space. Also, you have minimal in order for you to hide your space bar. And you could get it back by sliding with two fingers up. So what makes this keyboard really special is the ability for you to really customize this keyboard. So for instance, you could customize the way on how you want it to look. And also you could customize its extensions. So you could customize the way it works. So for instance, you're a person that likes to work with GIFs, likes to navigate with the space bar, you want suggestions. You want to have a number row, you want to have one-handed support, you want to have hotkeys, rainbow pops, heart pops, color pops. It's really a keyboard that you could customize. So next keyboard that we have is Gboard. So what Gboard is, is like having a mini Google search inside of your keyboard, as you can see right here. So for instance, we're going to search for potatoes. And it's going to search the web for it. And once you found the information that you like, you can just tap it and you also have the option to paste a Google search card from the search that you made. Also with this thing, you could search for GIFs as you can see right here and also images. So let's take another example for Google search. So I'm going to type here the weather forecast for today weather for today and there we go and now I have this result I could just tap it and I have the option to paste the card so that is Google search inside of your keyboard also that with Gboard you can slide to type as you can see right here so that is Gboard the next keyboard that we have is GIF Keyboard. So with GIF Keyboard, you can simply express yourself through GIFs. You can browse through categories as you can see right here. So take for instance, I'm going to type here the yes GIFs. And I can select this one and paste it to wherever where I want to use it and send that GIF. And there we go. We have that GIF sent. Also, another feature in GIF Keyboard is the ability for you to type in a custom font face, as you can see right here. So I could just select here from the available font face, such as this one, and I could type in a different font, as you can see. So that is GIF Keyboard. The next keyboard that we have is Giphy Keys. So with Giphy Keys, you have the similar function from the previous keyboard in order for you to express yourself through GIFs. So here you have your categories and for instance we're gonna search now pizza and here are the results and I could just select a random GIF right here and it's starting to be copied as you can see and I could just paste that GIF and send it. And there we go, that is Giphy Keys. The next keyboard that we have is Quiboard. So with Quiboard, you could type text faster with just a tap. So this works by having custom clips available. For instance, you're gonna fill up your email 
or you're gonna make a letter or you're just going to paste something that you usually use throughout the day or you're usually using filling up things so this thing is really useful so you could type faster so you could add your own custom clip by going to its application and add here a label so for instance we're gonna type here sample sample okay now we're gonna type here thank you for something and there we go and we're gonna try and use that so let's go back to the keyboard all right now there we go so that is Quiboard. the next keyboard that we have is slash keyboard so with slash keyboard you could have custom slash commands for your keyboard so here are the sample commands available that you could use with slash keyboard so for example we are going to do slash google and we could have google search here and let's type here pizza and i could just browse for the information that i want and i could just tap it and there we go also that you could customize the look of slash keyboard by going into settings and themes as you can see right here so that is slash keyboard the next application that we have is SwiftKey Keyboard. So with SwiftKey Keyboard, you could easily type faster by having the ability to slide to type. So that's it. So th that's SwiftKey. Also that you could customize SwiftKey's look by going to its application and applying themes that you have. As you can see right here. So that is SwiftKey. The next keyboard that we have here is Ting Ting. So with Ting Ting, you could easily access things such as, for instance, you could navigate with sliding with the space bar. Also, you could quickly access GIFs, your photos, your calendar, and of course, some cloud services. So here are the things that Ting Ting could access for you. And that is Ting Ting. The next application is TouchPal. So with TouchPal, you could have the ability to access these types of emojis that you are seeing right now. Also, you have the ability to slide to type. As you can see, also you have this night mode for the keyboard and of course the day mode. Also that you could type with custom fonts as you saw earlier. Also you could customize the theme for TouchPal. The last application that we have is WordFlow. So with WordFlow, you have the ability to slide to type as you can see right here. Also WordFlow is really well known in terms of working with one hand as you can see right here. So you could easily type with one hand. Let's try that. Let's type in with one hand. And that is WordFlow. You could also customize the look of WordFlow inside the WordFlow application. So that is it. That is my opinion of the best 12 free keyboards for iOS this 2016. So as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.